Hey guys, Mopar Man back with another project. Uh, so, as you can see behind me, the charger is all set, is all done. She's outside. And I still gotta put her through a couple of test drives and everything else like that, but um, on to the project. So, essentially, um, I heard some grinding. I got a lot of vibration from my truck when I was driving it. Um, and I it kind of happened after I switched over to my uh, winter tires but that wasn't you know that wasn't the cause of it um, it was just time for for the brakes to be done and I guess from the last time I did the brakes I was really when I when I changed over to winter tires I was really looking at the brake pads and thought I had a little more life left but I I was I guess I was a little wrong on that on that um, estimation so what ended up happening is the uh, driver side front brake caliper um, is destroyed um, due to the fact that the brake, the inner brake pad, wore down to nothing and then slipped out of its slipped out of the um, the caliper bracket that holds it and wedged itself between the rotor and the caliper bracket, and then that's what was causing my vibration. Uh, and obviously get, causing the wheel to be stuck as I was like as I would put it in reverse and try to back it down my driveway so when I pulled it apart I started trying to figure this all out and I saw what the main issue was so today we're going to install a brand new uh, brake caliper assembly and um, that's what this video is going to be about and I'll show you the torque specs they'll be part of the video um, I'm going to show you both the torque specs. There's one torque spec for if you have a 6 inch suspension lift like I do which came with new front brake lines and then there's the uh, torque spec for if you just have a you know if you have a normal stock size ram and you're just changing this because it broke on you for whatever reason. So with that being said I'm going to set you guys up outside and we'll go through that and then you guys can stay tuned to my next video in which case I will show you how to change the uh, uh, pads and rotors all the way around the truck front and rear alright so let's get started hey guys so here we go we're back we're at the truck alright um, as you can see the damage that took place it destroyed the caliper completely uh, so we got pieces of it here so um, I'm gonna change the whole this whole assembly um, I got a new assembly from AutoZone and um, <clears throat> it's pretty much just going to be a swap out I will be reusing the same hardware they did provide me a new hardware but um, because it's a it's a lift kit I have uh, this brake line and everything so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna, I'm gonna re install the caliper back on and that's going to make it a little easier for me to um, break the banjo bolt loose because the new hardware it, it comes with everything it comes with the comes with the caliper bracket and everything uh, one thing you want to do is top off your brake fluid reservoir I filled mine to the very top just because once you crack this loose um, it's just going to kind of gravity bleed itself down the line and I have another pan here ready for that <clears throat> The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to break the caliper bracket bolts loose. Not remove them, just break them loose. And that way, um, that way we have it. Uh, Hopefully you guys can see. Caliper bracket bolts are right here. Let's walk. Right there, that. This, uh, this bolt right here. So you want to break them loose, but leave them on.
Check out the bottom one. reuse this hardware for the new uh, for the new bracket as you can see it's starting to uh, see. guys better position also. Sorry for the weird angle, but this is the best I'm going to be able to get you here. Um, so as you can see, I'm removing the banjo bolt here. It comes with these copper washers there also on the new one. So I'm gonna probably use them off of that. I'm gonna keep this on this bolt for right now because I gotta reuse this this bolt. Okay. Now the brake line's just bleeding on its own. That's okay. Now remove the upper assembly, and I will be removing my uh, disc, um, my brake rotor because I, I am replacing it. So you'll see something a little different. <clears throat> Just watch out that you don't tip it over because it will bleed brake fluid all over the place. Doing a hand tight or just getting it in there. Okay, so this is. I'm just testing something out here. Uh, this is, uh, I believe, this might be actually my old caliper uh, bolt, and the new one they gave me is actually a bit on the um, smaller, like the head of it is at least on a bit on the smaller side. So. But it'll it'll do the job, so I'm gonna use this new one, and I'll put the you gotta put the copper washer on, okay? And you have another copper washer that's gonna sit here. Oh, like little old brake fluid helps, right? It's a covered in weight fluid. So you want to get this in.
Okay, now what you want to do is before I get to the torque and tightening that, what you want to do is grab your I'm going to actually I'm going to be honest with you, I'm going to tighten this down first with the uh, ratchet For me, I want to keep this this edge lined up here. Okay, I got that tight just to stop the dripping. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack the bleeder line here. Okay, and we're going to do a thing called gravity bleed. In which case, now what's going to happen is the fluid in the reservoir is going to push down. It's going to come through the line, it's going to push all the air out of the caliper. So what it's doing right now is it's filling the caliper all the way up with brake fluid. And eventually it's going to start dripping or pouring out of the brake bleeder screw here. Okay, so we're going to do what, like I said, it's called a gravity bleed. And that's going to help you with getting the air out of the system. Now I do have a vacuum pump that will suck the air and get it all out, including fluid. But I want to let this do its thing. And in the meantime, we're going to torque this down. So, the torque spec for this, and it will be shown on the screen probably before the video, is um, for for this I went to BDS, BDS's website. Um, and I have the 6 inch lift, so obviously these are the brake lines that come with it. The torque spec for it is 18 foot pounds. Um, if you are a non-lifted truck and you're just doing it normal, uh, a normal caliper change, your torque spec is 31. So, I got my meter on, my digital torque meter, um, and it's set to foot-pounds, and it's set to 18. That's another thing you're going to need. You're going to need a bottle of brake fluid. Preferably, if you do more than one caliper, I'd get a big bottle. Um, and then if you're going to go and do a brake flush, still have a big bottle because you're going to be flushing all the brake lines, I mean all the calipers. There it goes. All right. You just gotta get. Sometimes you gotta uh, loosen it up a little more, and then it pops out. Okay. So with that being said, we're gonna. I'm gonna hook up my boots, my uh, vacuum bleeder. Okay. I'm gonna have my. Uh, my wrench handy here.
Okay. That's it. The copper's released. That's not. We got the air out. Now we'll clean it up. A little bit of brake clean. Because brake fluid will eat the paint on this. And it's kind of like a battleship gray. I kind of like it. But if some of you are kind of wondering, oh, why'd you go to AutoZone? Why'd you get a, you know, why'd you go, go for a cheaper option? You could have upgraded the brakes. Yes, I can upgrade the brakes. And I'll drop this little bit of knowledge on you. The bigger brake kit for my 2012 Ram 1500 is about 3,200. Uh, all right, just giving you a round figure. It is somewhere around that, and that's off of American uh, AmericanTrucks.com. And uh, I would like to be able to just do this because I need to get this truck back on the road right now. Um, I do need it to use it use it for a bit of work so doing this caliper was an easier solution now I'm going to return the old one for the core charge back and later down the line when I get ready to do brakes again is when I'm going to swap out both the front calipers and do the bigger brake kit and at that time um, I'll give you a video on that but for right now just to have just so I can have a vehicle to drive and get back on the road um, I did this from AutoZone it's a reliable option and uh, hopefully it's only this side that got messed up I will once I do the brakes <sighs> Sunday I believe is when I'm supposed to be getting my shipment of my brake pads I will then um, take a look at the passenger side but this is where most of my trouble was coming and everything is done so <clears throat> there you guys have it 18 foot pounds if you're a lifted truck 31 if you're a non lifted truck okay New assembly, new uh, uh, new banjo bolt with the uh, copper washers. Everything is torqued. Everything is good. The caliper is bled and full of fluid. So we're good here. Um, appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching. Please hit that like. Please hit that subscribe. And uh, stay tuned for more videos.